Hey, welcome back friends. Got a great walkthrough for you today. This one is near and dear to my heart. I've got an updated 3210 BH Imagine from Grand Design. If you guys don't, don't follow the channel, last year we had the very first 3210 off of the production line. It was a prototype. We camped it in a few, a few months, gave Grand Design feedback, and they took a lot of that feedback and this is the finished product. So I'm super excited to show it to you today. I hope you stick around. All right, guys, I'm quite sure you've seen enough of my face. You know how we roll. We do the outside first and then we go inside. 3210, so this is the big bunkhouse now from Grand Design Imagine. Uh, it's almost 37 feet long. It weighs in a little over 9,000 pounds. And uh, yeah, load carrying capacity. I'll have all of that stuff up here on your screen. So start from the front cap. New graphics that came out uh, almost two years ago now, about a year and a half ago. You got your twin 20 pounders up here, electric jack, all that good stuff. A lot of this stuff obviously is repetitive from our first walkthrough of the prototype. But I just want to make sure if you didn't see that video that you're seeing this one. Let me get in there and let the light adjust a little bit. Huge pass through storage as uh, most of the full size Imagines certainly have. You've got two entrances here. Rack and pinion slides, um, aluminum steps here, and then more ride steps at the main entrance back there. So let's go ahead and look at this entrance. Ignore that pricing because it's probably going to be different everywhere you go. Here's your uh, interior for just a second. We'll go to that in just a second. But yeah, nice big slide on this side. You'll have four recliners on this side. We love that when we were in this unit. We There's all these big windows on the campsite. You'll see that in just a little bit. But yeah, big slide there. Two awnings. I think these are both nine foot six awnings. So you've got one here and you've got one here. Your awning does cover your cook side and it does cover your main doorway. I would love to see them somehow be able to cover that doorway, but it's not a huge deal. As long as, I think as long as one's covered, we should be good to go. Down here at the business end, you got some nice looking rims, Goodyear Endurance tires right there you've got griddles now these are the uh, griddles on the more ride slide the way this works making sure they're unlocked just pops out and then this pops out and locks in oh I see I gotta lock it in I'm trying to do this one-handed there's a lock over here on the slide but uh, where's it at it's over here I think oh, yep it's right 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 here one-handed you know how we roll. We don't have any cameramen right here. I'm the, I'm the cameraman. I'm the crew. I'm the editor. I'm the producer. But yeah, there you go. Nice griddle right there. Get your outdoor fridge. I love they do the griddle. We just, we never used our stove top. We, the griddle for me, for our family, has worked so much better. Got your bumper back here. Got your nice storage access in your bunkhouse. So this came in super handy. We've got a couple of scooters. We've done the bikes back here. And you can see... You've got some nice access right here for a shorter kayak, um, bikes for sure, scooters absolutely. Uh, a lot of toys can go right here, easy access, and the kids love having this door. Matter of fact, our kids felt like this was their door, and uh, we'd have to we'd have to listen out for them at night for sure. This is a 50 amp unit. These units are going to have two ACs almost certainly. Your uh, 300 pound weight limit ladder right here. You got a TPO roof. Um, I'm not sure what they're running for ACs right now. I think they're Dometics. I'm not sure about that. I'll let you know in just a second. Got your Furion tankless water heater. So this is an update from our prototype. Uh, I love this unit, especially if you're on full hookups. You never run out of hot water. It's great. Now, the downside is you don't get the free electric heat, hot heated water that you would get at a campground. Uh, but the unlimited water, man, it sure is nice. For sure. This big storage right here, now this is my pride and joy right here. This was my suggestion to them. The prototype did not have this big storage back here. And you can see that is a large, large storage area. So it's about, I'd say at least almost two feet tall by about three and a half feet wide and probably a good 18 inches, 16, 18 inches deep. And yeah, that's where I would be putting all of my chocks, my levelers, all of that fun stuff. Got your manual jacks there. I actually prefer manual jacks. I know they're always gonna work. Some of you would disagree with that, and I understand that, but hey, I love the manual jacks, actually. Rack and pinion slides on this side as well, so you've got two 
big slides on this unit, opposing slides, and they're both rack and pinion, so that should save you any worries about having a uh, Swintec system. So we've never had a problem with our Swintec, but I know some folks, uh, they're weary of it. Here's your dump over here. I actually love that it's here, and of course this is gonna be your bathroom right here, and not back in the back. This is a long unit, and when I'm pulling this rig, when I was pulling this rig, it's much easier to line this up than it would be if it was back there in the back. That's gonna be your furnace right here, and you got yourself a little light when you're dumping. Freshwater fill here. This is your, what they call, convenience center here. And you can see, here's your cable hookups, here's your solar controller, this is gonna be your battery disconnect, your outdoor shower, I don't know why they call it a shower, but uh, yeah, you can wash your feet off anyway. And your uh, freshwater hookup, city fill, fresh tank fill, all that fun stuff. You can see the aluminum framed construction. These are motion lights over here. Tire link ready, that means they're ready for the uh, tire pressure monitoring systems. Yeah, there you go, why don't we go inside? Okay, I'm gonna come in and pause for a second, let the light adjust, there we go. And you can see, you know what, let me see if I can get some lights on in here. Not yet, not yet, not hooked up to power right yet. But you can see how versatile this floor plan is. When we, when I first was, I was first sent this floor plan on blueprints, I just instantly knew, wow, this is gonna be a home run for them, especially this. A seat for every butt, that's what we called it. And it, it was great. Beckett would sit here, because when you recline, you know, I didn't have quite enough, I'm 6'2", almost, so I didn't have quite enough room to recline because of the island. But so our little son would sit here, daughter, dad, mom, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Now, you can get a pull-out sofa in the place of these two recliners. So you can do that. Um, obviously it doesn't work here because of the island. But yeah, this and you got all these windows out to your campsite. I just, I just love this floor plan. It's a killer floor plan. Uh, over this side, coffee bar, taco bar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we use it for coffee mainly. And you got your outlets here, got your nice storage up here. It's got tons and tons of storage. Um, I don't know if it's got enough storage for full-time living, but if you're weekended and doing one or two or three weeks a year, you're gonna have plenty of storage. So, um, now this is another change here over above the dinette. In our prototype, this, you know, this cabinetry here was a little bit shorter and there was a window over here. Well, they eliminated that window. You really don't need to see out that side anyway. Uh, they kept this window and they expanded the storage on both sides. So they did that. Uh, yeah, I honestly, that window always stayed closed anyway with the shade when we were using it. So I really don't miss anything from that where they changed that up. This also has new decor, by the way. So they've got new handles, uh, new, new styles here with their materials on there. This is not a fabric. So this is more like a, a pleather type stuff. So stains and all that stuff won't be a problem but they've got new trim. Instead of this being like a nickel, uh, a satin nickel, this is now like a dark, uh, almost a black finish, metal finish. Um, they did that also with the, the, um, the faucets in the kitchen here and in the bathroom. So nice island. We love this area as well. That's the thing, we were even put, either putting the coffee maker here, we didn't decide whether or not we want to put it here or over here. We ended up putting it over here because it's just a little bit more room. And, but man, this area is super nice for snacks and you know, put some chips and dip out here. Or if you're doing dishes to have a little drying rack next to it, you got your power outlets under there. Got your little hooks in here. I am so happy to see some hooks. So uh, I, we talked them into some hooks, got a hook right there. So you're talking about a dog leash. You're talking about maybe even a purse. Um, yeah, that's, they don't have to do that, but they did and I love it for that, love them for that. Um, coming in here to the bunk room, they made some changes here as well. So you've got two bunks, or six foot bunks on each side, this one and this one. Now this side's a little bit wider, I think this is maybe uh, three or four inches wider. They made this one a flip up bunk. Our prototype didn't have this. They made this one a flip up bunk, you can see that obviously. And um, they eliminated the window, oh no they didn't, they eliminated the bottom window, sorry, yeah. So they eliminated this bottom window, kept that window, and uh, yeah, works out well. 
Now our drawers are a little bit different configuration in the prototype unit, but they still kept the four drawers, which I thought was important. You got a drawer for each bunk person, each bunk, you know, each individual has their own drawer. And then they added this back window here. So this window wasn't here in our prototype. And I love that they have the same amount of natural light in here, um, even though they removed that one, they added that one. All right, so turning so turning here around, you can see you've got your uh, USBs up here, even your, I think that's, what is that, a Type-C? There you go, you can kind of get a view of that. USB Type-C right there, and you've got your regular plugs down here. Each person has a light. Boom, 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 that's good. These are soft close blinds, depending on how much they've been messed with at the show. So they pop it down there, and then, so the kiddos won't have the blinds whipping and slapping all over the place. All of the blinds throughout the unit are soft close on that note. Got storage underneath your dinette right here. This obviously drops down into a little bed. Your Furion fridge, sorry, I'm walking all around. I, this is, it's, I love seeing all of this updated. Uh, 12 volt Furion fridge. You've got some solar panels up on top. That all comes standard. And all of this also will be linked in the description box below. All right, another big change in this unit versus our old prototype unit. I say old, it's less than a year old, but uh, yeah, the first prototype, there was none of this cabinetry here. This extended out and there was a couple of little um, shelves right here and there was a window right here. And we told them, you guys got to put in some more bathroom storage. So they actually eliminated this window. There was a window here, they eliminated that. You still got your skylight, so you still got plenty of natural light in here. There's no lights on in here, and you can see it, it does just great. But uh, but they added this floor to ceiling cabinetry right here, and now we have a place to put towels and extra, you know, Q-tips, whatever you need. There's more than enough storage now, including you still got your little medicine cabinet, of course. So we were actually putting all of our stuff up in these cabinets. We put our towels in that cabinet right there. But yeah, I'm glad to see this behind me. Uh, yeah, you got your porcelain toilet, just like all the Imagines. Uh, I'm six, almost 6'2", six and I fit just fine in these showers. They do great. Uh, we've got the AIM now, and that shower is a different story. It one's a little tight. We'll talk about that in some, another video. But uh, yeah, your bedroom is the same, just exactly the same as our prototype back last May. And uh, you put just tons of storage here as well. You've got your, your little cuddies over there and then you've got all of their stories here and yeah you've just got uh, and these drawers these drawers are great and yeah you got your USBs regular plugs and then sorry I'm gonna move around I got a backpack on with all my stuff in it and this is under bed storage as well let's see there we go there you go so nice under bed storage got a nice little sliding compartment right here that you can move around um, is it sliding yeah it is it's just tight right now it's just tight. But yeah, there's your underbed storage. Fit a ton of stuff there. Place for an extra TV right there, cable hookups. Yeah. One of our absolute, maybe, between Brooke and I both, maybe our very favorite floor plan in a travel trailer to date. All right, friends, there you go. The 2023 Grand Design Imagine 3210BH. And uh, yeah, it's, it was a pleasure working with the folks at Grand Design, working on some of these changes. I love seeing the hooks. I love seeing the extra storage. I love the storage in the bathroom. That's a game changer. And even before those changes, this was probably our favorite floor plan in a travel trailer. I would say, yeah, it's not even close. It, this is a great, checks a lot of boxes for our family. I'll just say that, checks a lot of boxes. And uh, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the production tour of this unit. And if they change anything else, we'll let you know. I hope you guys are good out there. Hope you're staying healthy. See ya.